Hello everybody, uh, Greta Thunberg, am I going to die on that hill? <laughs> That's essentially the, uh, the question that I asked myself before making this video. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people dying on that hill, actually trying to do some polarizing stuff, either being incredibly supportive or antagonizing and... Um, it's just not working people it's not working and uh, to be honest I, I i think that it's not worth dying on that hill over i'm not going to talk about thunberg individually about her activism the only thing that i have to say about this activism is that i think that it is good that she gets to mobilize as many people as she does that's absolutely a great a great job um, there are certain aspects of her activism that I disagree with, uh, particularly the emphasis on ending growth. And in this case, it's, um, you know, uh, talking about economic growth. And the point is that I think that the West can do with less economic growth. That's true. But if you look at the world as a whole, and you consider third world countries or developing countries um, or stage three or four countries, um, their option is not, not growth. They need growth. They need growth for uh, better water systems. They need uh, growth for uh, better hygiene. So talk about sanitation, uh, soap, all that kind of stuff. They need growth for more varied food uh they need go for more services like fire departments police stations hospitals you name it and they need grow for an increased uh built environment in which they can thrive basically now i live in the netherlands our built environment is among the among the best of the world i mean we live in whatever our homes are are perfectly capable of keeping the weather out and keeping us safe from the elements and providing us hot water and cold water at the same time and uh, there's many people in the world who don't have that luxury and should have that luxury and want to have that luxury and are going to get that luxury and that implies growth so i don't believe that stopping growth is the answer so that's my main beef with greta thunberg it's the fact that she thinks that we should stop growing and that's just not an option for lots and lots and lots of people mainly the poor mainly the poor not us rich people and the other thing that i dislike is the fact that she is is lukewarm about nuclear she says well i don't like it but the ipcc says it it, it has to be included so that's that it, it, listen i take what i can get so so you know she doesn't she doesn't outright reject nuclear energy so that's good and that's all i wanted to say about thunberg personally about um you know uh whether i agree with her or not on the issues not talking about her personally about her looks about whatever else may be at at, at stake here i don't know i am ambivalent she's a girl from sweden and that's all i know that's all i care to know and to be honest i'm not going to die on that hill but this is an interesting uh, article here. French President Emmanuel Macron says Greta Thunberg will antagonize societies after she filed a lawsuit accusing France of inaction on global warming. Now the thing here is that she isn't alone in this uh, in this this thing. Um, there's like 16 children involved in this in in this whole uh, climate complaint and uh basically what they're doing is that everybody who has consented or basically signed the convention let's see the convention of the rights of the child everybody who has signed those is basically being sued for 
in action, not being uh, thorough enough in eliminating emissions. And amongst those are Germany and France, for instance. Now, the funny part is that they're mixed together. So Germany and France are together. And here's the thing. I agree with her to some extent. These countries are not uh, active enough to uh, do whatever it takes. Um, Germany, despite having tried to add masses and masses of renewables, accounting up to you know over half a trillion euros already uh, they have basically not managed to drop their carbon emissions france on the other hand despite it not being the aim of the uh mesmer plan have shut down or have eliminated a lot of emissions from for electricity production so uh, the, the whole point about the mesmer plan was not to be uh you know not not to be too dependent on the oil producing countries and nuclear has enabled them to at least uh cut that dependence on the electricity side of uh, the equation if you look at the transportation side it's just like any rich country uh they have loads and loads of cars loads and loads of traffic and they're burning a lot of fossil fuels. Germany, on the other hand, um, they had a similar project. They built somewhere around the order of uh, two dozen, no, a, a dozen, a dozen nuclear power plants are still in operation today. They had about twenty, I believe, and they are a bigger economy than France which means and they have more production and more fabrication and such so they need more electricity and this means that they stuck with coal because they have huge coal reserves so they can use it basically they they have been using it they use lignite and they use hard coal and um, basically what they are doing is they're trying to shut down nuclear while they keep prolonging coal Angela Merkel said as much at the IPCC uh, gathering, the first one uh, at the UN, after Greta Thunberg had this 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 emotional uh, presentation. Uh, Angela Merkel said, as an integral part of our climate strategy, we will be closing down our nuclear power plants by 2024, and we will be closing down our coal power power plants by 2030 or 2035 or something like that. And nobody bats an eye at that. I, I'm 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 baffled. I'm more baffled by what Angela Merkel said than what Thunberg said. Merkel Merkel says we are going to close down our nuclear power plants and we are going to keep our coal power power plants open for ten more years after we close the nuclear power plants. That just doesn't compute. That just does not compute. How the hell can you justify? killing thousands of people with coal pollution and shutting down your nuclear power plants who you which and i mean the germans it's just i can't wrap my head around it so there's that that's what i've got to say about greta thunberg i'm i'm, I'm ambivalent i'm not going to you know say anything more than i need to uh, i wish her all the luck in the world I hope she comes around on the growth issues. I hope that she realizes that degrowth is not an option for the poor. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.